to get a Gaquane video for the Duplo System 2000 sheet, uh, DSF 2000 sheet feeding system. Um, that's going to be comprised of your DSF 2000, your DVM 120 stitch fold, and sometimes it'll have the DVM 120T and sometimes it won't. Uh, with or without the 120T, it's still considered a System 2000. We're going to begin with the DSF 2000 sheet feeder. And we'll begin with the analog features first. And uh, first thing you'll notice is you have this, this tall guide here. Not all of them get them. This one does. It's nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to lift up. And I'll fall right over. And you'll notice if you pull the paper out from underneath the stock here, it'll start lowering the bed. So you would run out of paper, it would lower it down for you. Also, if you wanted to reload, you just pull them out and it would do it, and it stops automatically. Well, the first thing, another thing you'll notice in here, this is the pile height sensor. This is going to set how close the pile will come to the traction feed assembly right there. This is bin A. Bin B is exactly the same down here on the bottom. Just bin B is only for feeding cover stock, not the inside pages. Um, if you don't have a cover, you can literally run it right out of bin A and it'll just continue to feed. If you have cover stock that you want to run out of bin B, uh, and it all come off the digital, then you can run it off of bin B. They work exactly the same. They all have the same features. You have these traction feed assembly here. You have the bin pile height. Then off to the side here, you will have your, this is how much blast you get from the air blower, and this is how much sheet separator you get. If you look up inside of here, uh, right there to the side, you can see the little white tab poking out behind that stainless steel piece. That is the sheet separator. That is what these will control here. This knob right here controls that sheet separator, and it is going to separate the sheets depending on what you uh, what you're putting in. Um, certain sets are going to need more sheet separation than others. Same as certain sets are going to need more blow than others. Um, you also have to watch how much blow you give it because it can also cause a problem with lighter sets. But we're running it at five for this one and it's working properly. The other thing you have here is the side guide adjustment right here. That's simply controlled by turning it. As you turn the knob, it moves away. You turn it counterclockwise, it moves in. Um, everything else is automated on this. It will take care of it itself. That's the analog features. Now we're going to move on to the digital, and that's the control here. You can set the paper size, which I got set for letter right now, which is eight and a half by eleven. Uh, the set, like I said, how many are in, how many sheets are in the set? Uh, I'm going to go back to um, four for now. And. I want to do sets, so I'll set up for 25. Right now I've got bin B turned on. You'll see you can do that. Or actually exit out first. Finish mode, booklet trimming. That means that it'll go through the booklet maker and the trimmer. We'll just bypass the trimmer, it will actually trim. Uh, B sheet, yes, that's going to be your cover. I am running a cover. If you were not running a cover, you can simply push it. Turn it off, or even alternate. Um, it, I, it, not too many modes where you would use this, but if you're only running, say, two inside pages, you could alternate the cover and work out a uh, system like that. I'm not real sure how good that would be, but it could be helpful. But we're going to run B sheet on the cover. In mark set, we're not that just uh, marks the end of the set. It gives you a beep when you're done then it can continue on. Size detect on. It's automatically going to detect the size of the paper and tell the booklet maker how to change accordingly. Custom size. Uh, we don't need to input that right now, but you could, if it wasn't reading the size, you could effectively put in, say, a 9 by uh, 12, which we, we all know is not a common size, but it is used on several booklets. Um, this has your your um, 
A1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, it has your ledger, letter, and legal. And uh, B4, as well as I think B3 is already input in here. But you could add any size you need to after that, either uh, metric or uh, standard, depending on what size you've got it set up for. Uh, inverter mode off. The inverter mode is. Um, Oh, it feeds the bottom first and then the top. Tray up and down. We don't need to worry about that right now. Other settings. Tone on. That's just your beep. LCD settings. I can lighten or darken the screen. Millimeter inch settings, like I was speaking about earlier, when you're setting your size, you can either set it in uh, standard American English uh, or um, uh, millimeter uh, SAE would just be um, uh, American uh, inch system, our foot system. Uh, feed setting, I could set the uh, speed and how many sheets per minute. I'm going to exit when I'm done. D feed sensor, that's a double feed sensor. Uh, tray A, that's how sensitive this is. Thick, thin, so on. It automatically sets itself, but if it wasn't reading something properly, you could change it. Blower power, that's how much the blowers are running. One three, we got it turned up to maximum, and then we just adjust the manual adjustment on the side like I was showing you earlier. Driving time, that's how long after the set's initiated that the clutch stay on. Count up and down, it's just literally as it says, it counts up or down. Now, if you were doing 100, you either start at one, or you would start at a hundred. If you started at a hundred, we'd count down to one. You started at one, you'd count up to hundred. So again, count up and down. Uh, sheet jog off. This is only going to jog when it needs to. I can have it if you're having a problem feeding, and uh, the sheets are not wanting to slide over each other. It usually happens with really coarse paper, like a 20-pound bond. Sometimes if it gets a little static up from the digital. It doesn't want to feed correctly, and it gets stuck on itself. You can have it jog each sheet as it comes in, straighten it up. Um, the feed mode, uh, you can switch this over to a DBM 400, a DBM 500, any of those. It requires additional software, but it's set up to do it from the control panel, but you will again have to have additional software input into the machine by a technician. It's not something an operator or a owner could do. You would need to have a service uh, tech do this. DCM kit, we don't have it. That's an anti-static system. This one doesn't come with it, but if it did, it's just going to say uh, deionize blast of air into the system. I could turn it on from here. PCIF settings. That's the uh, interface. It's going to work with uh, uh, 1060 tower. Barcode unit. Again, we don't have a barcode unit. If you did, you could use it. You would also have to have the proper ink. You can't just use any toner or any ink. You have to use the proper stuff. And then again, we're back to tone on, tone off. And then, um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and run a set. What you're going to want to do is push and hold the green button until you hear the second beat. What it's going to do is it's going to read this. Now, you'll see the bookle maker moves over. It adjusts itself for what's coming down the chute. The DSF-2000 is a complete control. Now it's completely read that set. It's recognized every sheet that's in it and the cover stock and it says that it's okay and you can begin a job now. We're going to begin that right now. Just hit the green button. You'll see this guide piece move back down to where it has to be for the set and it will begin feeding. Just that simple and easy to set up a job and get going. And yes, it does move pretty fast for what it is. Essentially, you're taking a pre-collated set, you're pulling it off sheet by sheet, you're adding in a cover, stitch, fold, and trim, and it moves pretty quick.
about 1200 to 1400 an hour. Alright, that concludes our digital video. Any questions? Please feel free to call. Thank you.